Hello guys, this is my IoT project wherein uh, I am building a home monitoring system to read the home temperature, humidity and water tank level and pushing that data to Amazon AWS cloud and I can access those details from Amazon Echo device or Amazon Alexa service. So uh, here I am using uh, ESP8266 uh, microcontroller to do read the different uh, parameters using different sensors here I am uh, I used uh, DST11 temperature humidity sensor ESP8266 is a Wi-Fi board which connects to our home Wi-Fi network and it has a uh, few general purpose input output pins to which uh, we can connect different sensors the data captured from sensors is uh, published over internet I am sending that data to Amazon AWS cloud and I can access uh, that temperature humidity details uh, using Amazon Alexa or uh, Amazon Eco device. I don't have the commercially available Eco device so I am using this uh, Raspberry Pi on which I installed uh, Amazon Alexa service and uh, I am using this as a Eco device. So let's see the demo. Alexa, open sensor reader. Welcome to Vijay's house, where I communicate with some sensors in the house running from a ESP12E microcontroller. Would you like to know the temperature or humidity? Temperature. The current temperature of your home is 30 degrees Celsius. Alexa, ask sensor reader for humidity. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Alexa, ask sensor reader for humidity. Welcome to Vijay's house, where I communicate with some sensors in the house running from a ESP12E microcontroller. Would you like to know the temperature or humidity? Humidity? The current humidity in your home is 43%. Okay, so using this, uh, we can read uh, the temperature, humidity, water level and many uh, different parameters using different sensors and push that data to Amazon AWS cloud and that data is accessed from Amazon Alexa or Eco device. I am using uh, Amazon AWS Lambda function and I add AWS IoT core for uh, building this project so we can build many use cases around this like uh, monitoring our car status we can install these sensors like tire uh, pressure sensor to get the tire pressure then fluid level uh, measuring sensor to get the fuel level then windshield water level then temperature inside the car so uh, that data will be available on Amazon cloud and we can access that data from our eco device so that uh, we can get the tire pressure the fuel level the temperature inside the car sitting in our home before uh, starting our journey we don't have to actually go to the car and check the tire pressure and fuel level so that all details we can get in our home uh, using Alexa or eco device so I will quickly walk you through the code and overall setup. To read the data by sensors and uh, upload it to Amazon AWS cloud, we need to flash the uh, Node MCU ESP8266 board with this code. For this, first uh, download few libraries. This library is for connecting AWS uh, cloud this library is for DST11 temperature humidity sensor that we are using to capture the temperature and humidity here uh, mention the Wi-Fi credentials to connect to the home internet uh, network then uh, these are the credentials to connect uh, AWS IoT this is the REST API uh, this is the path where we are going to upload uh, these uh, sensor readings 
on AWS cloud this is the access key and this is secret key and this is the function which will read the temperature converted to uh, degree celsius from fahrenheit and build a string and this is state dot reported dot temperature and this is uh, temperature reading and this is humidity reading and upload this uh, string onto AWS IoT cloud uh, so uh, this is the setup for um, uh, ESP8266 board which will read the uh, humidity and temperature using the DST11 sensor and pass it to AWS uh, cloud then uh, go to uh, Amazon AWS console sign into the console for this you need to have your account on uh, AWS sign in using your credentials search here for IoT go to IoT core here we need to create a new thing go to manage and here we can create a new thing where our uh, sensor details will get uploaded I have already created a thing named temp underscore sensor go to shadow so these are the details sent by your ESP8266 boot as a temperature and this is humidity this shadow will get updated every one minute that we have mentioned in our uh, Arduino sketch this will get updated every one minute so uh, once we have created this shadow our uh, data uh, captured by temperature humidity sensor is now available on AWS cloud then uh, we need to create a lambda function go to AWS account login with your credentials search here for lambda here you can create a new lambda function I have already created one function named ESP8266 data I will show you the code and uh, how this function works so this is the lambda function and this is code for this lambda function here uh, we need to mention the REST API of the AWS IoT so that this lambda function connects to this AWS IoT to get this temperature and uh, humidity readings and this is the function I used already existing template from uh, AWS and modified according to my use uh, here is the function to read the temperature and humidity this is get temperature and from here we are reading the temperature from the uh, IoT thing this is temperature payload dot state dot reported dot temperature this is available here temperature and humidity and once we have this temperature and humidity details this function sends the response back to Alexa In this speech form <coughs> and uh, after creating this uh, lambda function an ARN is generated no noted down we will need that ARN in the next step so this lambda function 
connects to the IoT thing and get the temperature and humidity details. Now we will need to build an Alexa skin. When we ask Alexa for the temperature or humidity details, this skill will act as a trigger and call this lambda function. And this lambda function executes and send the response back to the Alexa. So go for creating the skill, go to Amazon. Amazon developer account login with your credentials here you can create a new skill I have created a skill named sensor reader This skill, these are the mandatory fields we need to mention. This is invocation name, the name of the skill which we are going to use while talking with Alexa. Then these are the intents, the sample sentences that we can speak to Alexa to invoke this lambda function. So these are the utterances we need to mention here. This is for temperature. What is the temperature? then what is the current temperature these many ways we can uh, talk to Alexa to get the temperature details this is for humidity so we can mention uh, many sentences that we can talk to Alexa and this is for get weather then we are done with uh, creating the skill this is the build model this will save and build our model and this is the last section endpoint this is important we need to mention the uh, ARN that we have created that is created in this lambda function which will uniquely identify this lambda function we need to mention that ARN in this endpoint section so that whenever we talk to Alexa the skill gets invoked and use this uh, endpoint ARN to connect to the lambda function and this lambda function will get executed this this code will get executed it will connect to the AWS IoT thing read this temperature and humidity details and gives response back to the Alexa this is uh, all about how this works so we'll quickly go through the flow this is the flow how this works this is our echo and these are the sensors we can have many sensors like pressure sensor humidity sensor water level sensor uh, we can read these uh, sensor details using ESP8266 board then this data is sent to the AWS IoT in AWS cloud we can have these many things created for each uh, sensor or each type of sensors then this is lambda function this will connect to this AWS IoT and get the uh, sensor details this is Alex, uh, Alexa skill and this is our uh, echo device when we talk to Alexa and ask to open the skill the skill will get invoked and the skill is a trigger for this lambda function then this lambda function executes and go to the AWS IoT thing get the uh, details and gives the response back to the echo this is all uh, how this works so thank you for watching the video thanks